Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. It's time to go home. And here's the verse of the day, and it's Psalms 3124. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. And that reminds me of James 5, 8. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. And it also reminds me of Titus 2, 13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And remember, I put it in the last video, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. The spring equinox starts at 2125 UTC. Luke 21, 25, right where Jesus Christ said the signs would be. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And I love Jesus Christ, the truth. So I'm jumping right to the signs for you, family. All glory to our Father. And I deleted tons of these comments because it's not true. The conjunction happens every year at this time. This Jupiter and Venus alignment is literally annual and nothing new or abnormal. And I follow Jesus Christ alone. Not people. Because people have a tendency to say whatever they hear and spread lies. And they try to water down the gospel and your eyes. But no one will steal our joy because it's all Jesus Christ. So I replied and said, yes, Jesus Christ is at the door, but that conjunction doesn't happen every year. And it didn't happen in 2020. And it does not happen every year at the same time. But I'm glad that you said something. Thank you, because I'm going to show everyone the truth in my next video. All glory to our Father. God bless you. And it didn't happen in 2018. Here's January 1st, 2018. And I'll run you through the year. As you can see, Venus is passing the sun right there. Here comes Mercury. Mercury just passed Venus, looped around. Venus just passed Uranus. Where's Jupiter, family? It happens every year at the same time. Okay, so we're all the way to July. Still hasn't happened. August. Venus is going by the woman. September. Oh, there's Jupiter. Was that a conjunction? No, it was not. They weren't even near each other. And now, we're to 2019. Boom, there it is. But were they close like they were this year? No. Was it at the same time of the year? No. And I'll keep moving forward. Actually, it just happened in 2019. So I will take you to 2020 and we'll start again from January 1st. There's Venus moving through the water bearer. February. Where's Jupiter? Oh, Venus just passed Uranus and Pleiades. Jupiter still is not in the mix. There goes Mercury. Venus flies back by the sun and loops back around. We're in July, August, no Jupiter. Facts are facts, family. Don't believe everything you hear. 2020, December. And there it is. I just showed you two previous years, recent years, that Jupiter and Venus were not in conjunction at all. Facts. Truth. Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. Our Father. Let it be known. It's time to go home. And it's 11.08. In this video, these texts are gigantinormous, family. I've been fellowshipping. Christina and I have been fellowshipping with a brother in Florida for years. And he was a DJ. A well-known DJ. And when he gave up the world, he lost his fan base. And just like us, everyone turned from us. Because they don't want to hear about Jesus Christ. But we do. Well, anyways, hundreds of if not thousands of you brothers and sisters have had two moon dreams. Christina had them. 
and this brother has too. So as Christina and I were fellowshipping and watching with our brother, she nicknamed him DJ Two Moons. And I'm about to show you our conversation from yesterday and today. And to kick it off, I sent him the comment that I just read you about the conjunction. They said it happens every year at the same time, which was not true. And where do lies come from? Yes, the father of lies. And he loved the image. And he said, that's why I love you, bro. You put the check on him or her laughing out loud. God bless. And I didn't mean to put the check on anyone. I just love Jesus Christ, the truth. And I have to set the record straight. It's my job as a watchman and a child of the one true God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So I said, what can I say? I love Jesus Christ, the truth. And he said, amen. And I said, God bless you, family. And he said, you know, those are the people trying to steal our joy. We ain't got time for that. And I said, 100 and smiled. And when you keep going, I sent him this picture of what I just took last night of Venus on top of Jupiter, brighter than ever, closer than ever. No one's talked about this conjunction. It hasn't gone viral or created a frenzy like it did this year, ever. And he said, nice one. That happens every year, though, laughing. I haven't seen a conjunction like that with my eyes and not a sky app, plain to the naked eye with no telescope, etc. So I busted up laughing and said, there's people out there that want to stay in the flesh. And he said, absolutely, you hit it right on the money. And I added, fulfill the desires of the flesh. And he said, I guess the Magi followed the Bethlehem star every year till they got it right. And I just busted up laughing because that's hilarious. And then I said, the internet was on fire with those pics. And I said, straight viral. A sister sent me tons of posts of pics from Facebook. People were saying it's aliens and all types of things. Now that don't happen. And I said, because now they close and super bright. God got everyone's attention. And he said, the brink of war, we go first. And I said, yeah, it's about to really pop off when we leave. Saturday, March 4th. As soon as I go online, this is what I see. So I text him and say, does this happen every year too? Fox 40, do not be alarmed. Law enforcement responds to calls about lights in the sky. About the conjunction, family. People are calling 911. People are calling the police because they're seeing the conjunction. Laughing out loud. Yeah, basically, don't worry. Happens every year. Bro, that's the biggest sign of planets I've seen with my own eyes and nothing else. Right outside my doorstep. Didn't even have to walk to see it. And I said, bro, you must have been on vacation the last 10 years and just didn't notice it. And he laughed. And I said, me too. Maybe it was just cloudy my whole life looking up. And I laughed. And he said, maybe that person for the Lord to give a bigger sign in the stars, like with a strobe effect and changing colors or something. So I laughed out loud. 9-11, emergency. How can I help you? Help me, it's aliens. Just stay on the phone and we'll send out all available units. And he replied and said, yeah, I've seen the stars before, but never this close. This was ridiculous in our faces. Then he said, also, we got to watch it get closer each day as a countdown. We don't see that ever. And then I said, last night, and sent him the picture that I caught last night. And he said, there were three magis at the time of Christ. Reminds me of your three gift dream that Christina gave you. This was the conjunction, brother, bright. And I said, actually, that's not true. The word just says magi or wise men. It doesn't say three. That's people spreading that. And he said, you're right. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and mirror. Three gifts. And he is absolutely right. And he said, my point still being that, could your dream in relation to the bright conjunction we just witnessed? I've never seen anything firsthand like this. And then he sent the picture that he sent me when they were the closest. 
and they actually got a little bit closer going into the next day. And look how big and bright they are, especially Venus, what they call the bright morning star. And he said, my fave photo this week. I guess we see this happen every year, laughing. And I said, and here's where it gets gigantinormous, family. Look what Jesus Christ just showed me. Well, remember the conjunction on November 8th, 11-8, with Mercury and the sun entering the scale? That happened around six months after this prophetic word that said when you see the conjunction enter the seventh house, know that I'm at the door. Well, there's no conjunction since this conjunction that's entered any constellation at the same time until Resurrection Day. I showed you in the last video and I'll keep going because this is huge. Because on 11-8 was the total blood moon eclipse in what they call Ares, the god of war, right next to Uranus, which means heaven. And this is for eyes to see and ears to hear. This is how our father gets down and shows us what's up. 11-8. And when you go to Romans 11-8, it's a match. According as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see. Imagine that. 11.8. Like the date of the total blood moon eclipse and the last conjunction that entered a constellation together. And I said 11.8, a match. In Christina's dream, people were panicking because no one could find 8.11. And in Israel, they read right to left. So 811 would be 118. According as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see. And that was me right there pointing to the blood moon. I stayed up till three in the morning to get this picture and watch it for you, for the glory of our Father in Jesus Christ's name. And he loved the image and said, that is awesome, bro. Wow, definitely makes sense. The veil over their eyes. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. Verse 4. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ who is the image of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, family. I'm feeling his Holy Spirit, all glory to you, Father. Thank you in your name, Jesus Christ. Let's go. And he liked it. And who doesn't like the word? The people that that verse is talking about. And he said, I saw a video saying, Bo, which is Barack Obama. And in Hebrew, it means come. Bo means Come. Let me run that back. I saw a video saying Bo will be in Australia in March at Kane Center, etc. I'm sure there is symbolism. Just a heads up. And I said, all right, so you know about his dinner on 3-9, but did you know this? One week before Passover is the sixth annual Obama Gala. And I had a rapture dream years ago that he invited us to a dinner one of his dinners, which is just mind-boggling that he's still even having dinners and they're making them annual. But not really, because we see what's going on here. Saturday, April 1st, 2023. Sixth annual dinner. Gala. Wow, this is off the freaking chain. When you scroll through that website, it says the butterflies are coming. We are excited to announce that Butterfly Pavilion will bring 400 monarch butterflies in an enclosed tent to the Obama Gala. And he emphasized the picture. Guess we fly soon. That's right. And then I text him this picture. And most of you know this because most of us have been saying it for years. The biblical meaning of monarch butterflies is a symbol of resurrection around the world. People view the butterfly as representing endurance, change, like Obama, his slogan, hope in life. 
but it's a symbol of resurrection. You guys, most of you know this. And he said, also, monarch, one ruler. Yes. And then I sent him this picture. King Solver, Barack Obama, and the monarch butterfly. And you could look more into that if you would like. It's stacked. And then our father showed me this. And I said, wow, it just keeps getting better. Obama Gala with 400 monarch butterflies. When you look it up in Strong's, 400, the definition is to cry out. And the usage is, I call out, shout, exclaim. 1 Thessalonians 4.16, family, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, 400, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Bam! And then we which remain that are still alive shall meet them in the air to be with the Lord Jesus Christ forever. And then I said, I really got to use this text for my next video, all glory to our Father. And I said, you remember the it's time to go home video? And I'll probably get hit with the copyright violation, but it doesn't matter to me. I don't monetize my videos. So here's what happened just the other day. And I rarely watch videos. But this one popped up on the top of my home screen. And I wasn't even going to watch it. But I felt the Holy Spirit say, watch this video. It's time to go home. Yes. It's time to go home. Kill it. It's time to go home. Kill it. It's time to go home. Love it. It's time to go home. Dang, How do you make your vocal exercise sound so you good, girl? Family, it's, it's time, time to, go to go home. Okay. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. Let's go. It's time to go home. Love it. It's time to go home. Kill it. It's time to go home. Kill it. It's time to go home. Love it. One more time. Let's try yes, one more yes. time, Lord. The brought it on the top. Because it's hard. It is hard. <laughs> it's time to go home. Take it easy. It's time to go home. Take it easy. It's time to go home. Beautiful. It's time to go home. Take it back. It's time to go home. Drive out. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. <laughs> Give me some, girl. Oh, take some gloves off. So guess what time it is? And right after that, I told our brother, her name is Lauren. And the biblical meaning of Lauren is victory of wisdom. And it's highlighted right here, like the monarch butterfly. Lauren means an emblem of prosperity and symbolizes Christ's resurrection, family. These are God's odds. And then I said, and I went back years, and it looks like the quadruple conjunction has never, ever happened. And I challenge all of you, anyone, to see a day in history in the past that we've had this quadruple conjunction with Venus and Jupiter and Mercury and Saturn in conjunction at the same time because I looked and looked and looked and it's not there. But it just happened this year for the first time ever, it looks like. There's Venus and Jupiter. That was the conjunction we just seen on 3-1 and 3-2. And on the same day, the same days, there's Mercury and Saturn in conjunction on 3-1 and 3-2. It's a quadruple conjunction that just happened. And he said, of course not, bro. I've never seen what I saw this week. I'm bringing the frankincense. So I sent the menorah and the cross pointing up. And he said, they can manipulate sky apps, etc., but you can't hide what we saw. Never seen that in person. And I said, I personally have never seen Stellarium make one mistake. What year do you believe Jesus Christ was crucified? And he said, 30 AD, maybe. And I said, this just rocked me. And you already know, most scholars say that it was between 30 and 33 A.D. And as you can see right here, people also ask, in what year was Jesus Christ crucified? April 3rd, 33 A.D. 
we conclude that Jesus was most likely crucified on April 3rd, 33 AD. And people can argue that, but it doesn't matter. Because we will find out very soon. So I said most scholars believe it was April 3rd, 33. And you won't believe this. 811. In the year 33, on August 11th, 811, Jupiter and Venus were in conjunction right next to the beehive cluster, Praecipe. So when people are saying this conjunction happens every year at the same time, they don't know what they're talking about. And he said, interesting conjunction. And I said, 811.33, Venus, Jupiter conjunction in beehive, Praecipe. Happens every year, he said. And I said, yeah, at the same time, laughing out loud. And I'll wrap it up with the next most biggest, gigantinormous conjunction that enters a constellation together for the first time since the total blood moon eclipse on 11-8 when Mercury and the sun entered the constellation they call Libra together. This is the first time that it's happened since then, family. And as you go through the days, you can see the sun coming. And right there on Passover, headed for Resurrection Day, they enter what they call the constellation Pisces, the fish together on Resurrection Day. And I'm hoping he opens the graves and comes and gets us on that day. This is gigantinormous, family. Why? Because he's telling us all, it's time to go home. Keep your heads up and shine bright. We're going home.